Alright, so today we're going to be using Vite to create a React TypeScript project and we're going to add SAS to it so that we can, uh, so that I can show you how to get SAS working with Vite since I didn't find any good tutorials on YouTube for it. So let's get started. You're going to go to Vite and you're going to click the Get Started button. Now, we're going to see the available templates here. There's also community maintained templates if you want to add ESLint or whatever you want. But we're going to be using these templates in the video. So we're going to be adding React TypeScript. And then we're going to be going to preprocessors and adding um, the SAS. So we're going to open our terminal. You're going to find a place in your operating system, in your file directory, and wherever you want to place the, the, the project. And you're going to be saying npm create write at latest. And you're going to give the project name. In this case, I'll give it a name of testing. So we're going to create the project, we're going to cd into the project, so we're going to go into that testing directory file folder, and we're going to run npm install. So the dependencies will be installed, and now we can open up Visual Studio Code there. So we're going to go to Visual Studio Code, and we have our initial project structure. Now, we can run the project, npm run dev, and everything is going to be working, right? But we, are, we also want to add uh, SAS to it, so we can have our styles. And to, a way to do that is, you can see here, you can go to Features, and you can go to CSS Preprocessors. It's going to support SAS, so we're going to type this in. We're going to open a new terminal, type in this, it's going to add SAS. We can now close the window, and now we have SAS enabled. So... Let me just clear this up so we can we can test test it out, right? So we're gonna go create an empty div. It's gonna say h1 hello world, right? We're gonna remove the unused state. We're not gonna be using anything here. And we're gonna delete these the logo, the CSS, and the let's see main index index CSS. We got we got this. Okay, so when we go to our app now. It only says hello world. Now we want to add a SAS file. So we're going to create a style folder. And we're going to add, let's just say for testing purposes, main.scss, right? And we have an h1 tag here, right? So let's test it out. So we can say h1, and I can say color.red. So is this working? No, it's not. Why? Because we have to import it here. So we're going to say import. Start from styles, and we're going to say main.scss. I have no idea why autocomplete is not working, but okay. And there you go. We got it working. So let's try some variables, just in case. See if this works. So let's say primary color is equal to blue. And let's say secondary, secondary color is equal to, let's say, purple. Okay. Now let's say h1 is primary, right? It has autocomplete on this thing, which is good. Does it have autocomplete? Let me see. Yeah, it has autocomplete primary. Let me go. We add blue. Let's switch it here. Let's see. And let's test the secondary color. Purple. All right. So everything's working, and you can you can now continue to work on your project. I'm not going to be doing a SAS tutorial, but this is a tutorial to how to set up the environment. You can check the community uh, community maintained templates if you want to use ESLint and stuff like that. But this is how you set up the project, and everything is fast, good, you don't need to write CSS, you don't need to compile this SAS to CSS and then use the CSS file, so everything is working out of the box, and you can say whatever you want here, really, you can add classes and, you know, the, you know, the things that you can do. So, that's how you create a white project, React TypeScript, and add SAS to it.